This video is part of a series of help videos on Amendment 2 of the 18th edition of the Wiring Regulations. This series of videos will help you to study for the exam and improve your chances of passing by showing you how to use the book, how to read the question and how to extract the key information from it. Voltage drop is always a popular choice for an exam question. Most of you will have a couple of calculations in the exam and knowing how to find the answer to voltage drop questions is easily understood and can be another easy mark for you. Practice the calculations often, make up your own questions just for practice, become your own expert. Question. A kitchen appliance is installed on its own circuit using 22 meters of 4 square millimeter 73 centigrade flat profile PVC cable with a protective conductor. If the appliance has a maximum current rating of 30 amps, what is the maximum voltage drop in the cable? And there will then follow four possible answers and only one of which is correct. So how would we even begin to answer this question? Let's follow this in a logical sequence using a method that always works. My go-to page is always page 3, the main contents page. This is what it is there for and it makes answering exam questions a lot less stressful. We're going to be selecting and directing cables, so here we've highlighted part 5, selection and erection of equipment, which includes wiring systems. It tells us to go to page 127. On page 127 is the contents page for part 5, and in chapter 52, selection and erection of wiring systems, we have section 525, voltage drop in consumer installations. Let's find that section now. Here we are on page 148 and section 525. Looking down the paragraphs, we see that there is a reference to Appendix 4, section 6.4. Appendix 4 begins on page 420, but we are going to save ourselves a little time and go directly to page 430. This is section 6.4, voltage drop in consumer installations. This table can also be quickly located by looking in table of tables at the back of the book. Right now, we're interested in the top row of the table, low voltage installations supplied directly from a public low voltage distribution system, in other words, the national grid. This table tells us that the maximum permissible voltage drop should not be greater than 3% of the nominal voltage for a lighting circuit and not more than 5% for all other circuits. Shown here are the voltage limits that 3% and 5% represent for a single phase nominal voltage of 230 volts. This means that lighting has a voltage drop limit of 6.9 volts and all other uses has a limit of 11.5 volts. This table is often used for exam questions. Learn how to find it. But how do we find the voltage drop? Where is the information that we need? And where is the formula? For that, go back one page to the beginning of section 6 on page 429. There's some good information here and we want to look at the third paragraph. We're told that for a given run of cable, we can calculate the voltage drop in millivolts by multiplying the voltage drop given in the tables by the length of the circuit and by the design current, or IB. What does this mean? 230 volts flowing through a 1mm copper conductor will be reduced by 44 millivolts for every amp that flows through every metre of the cable. Here is the formula to use. The millivolts per amp per metre is obtained from the tables section of the book. IB is the design current, it is the maximum current that is expected in the circuit, and the length is in metres. We divide all that by the number 1000 to convert millivolts into volts so that we can compare the answer directly with the 3% or 5% maximum permitted values. You must remember this formula. It does not appear in the wiring regulations book which is the only book allowed in the exam. But you will be asked questions on voltage drop 
and you will be expected to use this formula. Let's put this into practice and answer the question. First of all, find the tables for flat profile cable, or as we know it, twin and earth. The tables with voltage drop data are all in Appendix 4, and to find these, we need to go to the beginning of Appendix 4 on page 420. This is page 420, and the bottom half of the page has a list of different cable types. They all have their own individual tables, and we are looking for flat cable with a protective conductor. Table 4D5 is the table that we need, but the book does not tell us a page number. It's on page 456, so let's go there. And here we are at table 4D5. With practice, you will learn to find it easily. In this video, we've taken the long route so that you understand what is going on. After a short while, you will just remember that table 4D5 is on page 456 and go there without a second thought. You can see the conductor size is highlighted on the left and the voltage drop factors to use in the formula are highlighted on the right. One millimetre cable uses a factor of 44 in the formula and four millimetres twin and earth uses a factor of 11. The bigger the cable, the smaller the volts drop as it's easier for electricity to flow through bigger conductors. Back to the question now. Here's the question and the formula. To help us to put the numbers into the formula, I always write down on the right hand side of the page all the numbers that I need to know. And now I can extract each of these numbers from the question or from the tables. I've done it this way for 40 years, it's an organised way of doing things and it works. It keeps you in control of the question and you can easily trace where you went wrong if you have a problem. Put the numbers into the equation and out comes your answer. Our actual volts drop is 7.26 volts. This is well below the maximum permitted value of 11.5 volts, the 5% figure for non-lighting circuits. Let's try another question on voltage drop. A 10 amp water heater is installed on its own circuit. The cable is 2.5 square millimetre flat profile PVC and is 40 metres in length. What is the voltage drop in this circuit? Here we have the data from the question entered into the little box. Pause the video and have a go at answering the question. You should have an answer of 7.2 volts for the actual voltage drop for this circuit. Question 3 now. A double socket is installed as a radial circuit with a 16 amp circuit breaker using 38 meters of 2.5 square millimeter flat profile cable. Which of the following statements is correct? And the question asks, the voltage drop is what? And there are four possible answers. Only one is most appropriate. Pause the video and attempt the question yourself before seeing the answer. Complete the data box with the numbers you need from the question. Enter the numbers into the equation, do the calculation, and now it should come the voltage drop, 10.95 volts. Now decide if 10.95 volts is an acceptable voltage drop for a non-lighting circuit and choose your answer. You should choose answer D. The voltage drop is below 11.5 volts and is acceptable. Question 4 is about lighting circuits. A single 500 watt security light is installed 75 meters from the distribution board using one square millimeter flat profile twin and earth cable. If the lamp draws 2.2 amps, is the voltage drop acceptable? And just two options to choose from. Pause the video and go through the answer process. The actual voltage drop is 7.26 volts and this is above the permitted maximum of 6.9 volts for lighting circuits. Therefore, choose answer B, the voltage drop is not acceptable. And the last question for this video, a 40 amp shower is installed using 40 meters of 10 square millimeter flat profile cable. The voltage drop is, and you have four potential answers, choose the correct one. Again, pause the video and work through the question yourself. Here's the formula, complete the data in the blue box. 
enter the data into the formula, make your calculation, and your answer should be 7.04 volts. Now choose an answer. Your answer choice should be A. Voltage drop calculations are an exam favourite. Practice them and improve your exam score. It's an easy calculation, but you must remember the equation used. It does not appear in the wiring regulations book. Write down what you already know from the question. It helps to make things more understandable. And do remember how to find the 3% and 5% numbers for maximum permitted voltage drop and what circuits they apply to. Easy exam marks if you get it right. And you will only be asked questions on simple radial circuits. Ring circuits require a little extra calculation. Thank you for watching this video. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.